Iko na kadaan. Yeah, I think we're five. All right. This is me. I just came. <laughs> on this beat, had to go and get it in. Knock on your door, baby, come and let me in. I'm here to ride it out, so baby, settle in. I'll be your remedy, call me your medicine. That's right, yo, doctor. Yeah, have a little sip of this vodka. Let's get to the physical part of this examination. Call me your doctor. So finish your time. She finished whenever you need. Turning you out while you're turning me on. Better than ever, you better believe. Yes. Trying to go for broke, too much love, call an overdose Jay Holiday put you to bed, then I'm gonna leave you comatose Yeah, take a rock with me, lean with it and rock with me Watch, you give me the rhythm, bitch, I don't need no beat But I'ma go fucking crazy, go ahead, let me off the leash I'ma rip the sheets, I'ma make you scream, so hop on top, it's kinda stripping me I'ma hit it from the back like a Tiffany, in my symphony With no sympathy, you ain't here for me You just wanna be a part of it when these fucking dudes make history like
ready to live your best life ever? Are you willing to transform yourself to achieve your greatest you? Welcome to AQuest. Our vision, a world where everyone celebrates abundance. Our mission is to transform lives through abundance consciousness. Our values and culture. We are mission driven. We champion our calling in transforming people's lives towards prosperity. We celebrate growth. We embrace never-ending quest for learning to become professional. Best in class, top of mind wealth, and life coaches. We embrace wholeness. We honor ourselves by being healthy, loving, wealthy, spiritual, and playful. We are self-managed. We boldly lead ourselves so we can lead others to do the same. Self-motivated and self-sustained. We practice discipline. We prioritize feeling good through our daily morning routine. We value connection and contribution. We add value to everyone we meet and care enough so that no one is left behind. diversity. We celebrate every culture, religious beliefs, gender, and generation. We rock your greatest lives. We all turn to be rock stars with our personal purpose to create paradise on earth. We are A-Quest. Together, we envision this world where everyone celebrates abundance. Ayan, it's beautiful Sunday evening here at the Philippines at kung saan man kayo nanonood via Zoom or kung kayo ay nanonood via live Facebook, we're definitely live and alive. Um, welcoming everyone in, in our Zoom, in our special edition of our talk um, made for... Um, students made for everyone that we may add value tonight. I just want to express my gratitude, my appreciation, my love and my, my love and compassion to everyone in this room tonight. Thank you so much for coming here. By the way, my name is Coach Tony, and um, we are so much blessed to be joined with my uh, co-host tonight, Kenneth Dale. Will you? Turn your mic and say hi to our viewers. 
All right. Hi, good evening, everyone uh, from the people who are watching from the Philippines and the naman sa mga um, tumitingin ang live natin via kung saan lupalop kayo ng mundo. Uh, good day, good day, and I hope that you will really enjoy and learn a lot tonight, of course, with me and Coach Tony. At live din tayo napapanood via the Limitless Wealth. Yan, um, if you happen to see the posts of that Facebook page, you may share what's going on in the online world. And yeah. with this special edition where tonight we're so much blessed to be joined. Uh, two of my best friends in the industry, in the life and business um, industry. We have EJ Bastes and we have Diego Pascual. All right, mamaya tatanungin ho natin sila with regard to our special ayan from the first time investor tatanungin ho natin yan mamaya kung ano ba yung, yung I think may idea na kayo kung ano ba talaga yung nasa poster natin kanina pa. Ayan, but uh, wag na nating pagtupik-tumpik pa, magpapakilala muna kami if ever this is your first time to observe and watch our program tonight. And oh nga pala. Oh. Oh, I'm Tony from Davao City, uh, Philippines, and I'm 28 years old. What I do is um yeah, I simplify life and uh finance in a one-on-one -on -one consultation, of course, but most of all, my transformative purpose is to you know help breadwinner. Kasi ako breadwinner din ako eh, di ba? Lahat naman siguro tayo dito sa room na to, breadwinner lang. Eh. So, um, with that, I would want to, you know, experience the abundance, uh, teaching the abundance consciousness sa mga taong, you know, gustong magkaroon ng transform lives, no? Okay. So, it, ito po yung naging byproduct po ng vision natin, no? With, through our community in Aquas, yung kanina pinleho na nang kanina, no? Yes. And to give another portion of, uh, you know, uh, pagpapakilala, I'd like to give the floor now to Kenneth Dale. Go, go, All coach. All right. Yes, coach. Coach Tony, uh, before I introduce myself, I would like to honor and acknowledge you for really sharing your purpose, your massive transformative purpose and I love it that parang the reason behind why we are here because we really have this reason and at the same time parang nakaka-relate talaga tayo eh kung ano yung gusto nating i-implement or i-contribute uh, to the people that surrounds us so that being said sabi nga ni coach Tony ano I will be introducing myself to all of our viewers out there I'm coach Ken um I'm the founder and um uh the CEO of the Limitless Wealth so I'm also part of a quest and DFC I'm from Davao happily married and currently 30 weeks pregnant, de ba? So grabe talaga yung <laughs> yeah, 10 weeks pala, 10 weeks pregnant. So grabe talaga ang ano, ang parang desire to really give value to to people kasi kahit ano pang sitwasyon natin, we really love to give value. Tama ba ako, Coach Tony? Yes. Yes naman because we totally understand that each one of us, parang we we see meron talaga tayong potential eh. And sometimes, um, hindi lang natin ito nakikita. That's why we don't have the drive to do the things that we love to do. Or, alam mo yun, if you don't really know um, your your potential, or if you, if you haven't discovered it yet, then eventually, parang hindi natin, hindi ganoon yung drive, hindi ganoon kalaki yung drive natin to really push ourselves. Kaya nga, me and Coach Tony created this quick webinar for us to discuss about this topic that we all should be aware of, which is, you know, maximizing our truest potential. Okay, so Coach Tony, um, are we all, ano, are we all set ano, um, to start with, with our quick talk tonight? Because I would really love to, to share to everyone no, what we have prepared for this night. So, syempre, that being said, ano, may pakot tayo, Coach Tony. So, sabi nga dito sa quote, your potential is endless. Go what you are created to do. Ayan. I wanted to hear from you, Coach Tony, what's your thought about this? Perfect, no? Uh, the moment I saw this kind of uh, 
quote no um the moment that you presented to me like um for me it 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 talks about each one of us is each one of us has this potential genius na tinatawag no um we have nine intelligences no so mm-hmm. if anyone would tell you that hanggang diyan ka lang there are some thoughts that they would say to you you're 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 limited kasi nga you're limited in a specific intelligence area mm-hmm. do not embrace that thought because most of the amazing geniuses and the most successful people na nakilala natin throughout history they went through their lim- their their they went out from their comfort zone because they knew there there's a specific part of their life that magi-excel doon sila and i think there's a creative side of your brain that tells you that and invites you na doon ka tinatawag eh yun yung tinatawag na calling eh so um yun i think yung na overcome ko na and th- this is the kind of thought that i'd like to invite everyone mas estudyante ma ma employ if you're a job seeker you are perhaps making a negosyo that you think your main block tonight is paano ba ako magsisimula kasi nga crisis paano ba saan ba ako magsisimula alin bang mga resources ang kailangan kakailanganin ko alam ko may potential ako but there are some tools na kailangan kong kailangan kong um pag-isahin kailangan kong i-recreate on my own so that that endless potential will be unleashed through you coach Dale. Wow, I love that valuable insights that you've shared, Coach Tony. No? Introduction pa lang, parang punong-puno na talaga ng value on uh, what we have really prepared for tonight. And I love it that you've mentioned about oftentimes we are the ones who are just creating our limiting beliefs. Tama ba? And sometimes hindi natin nakikita yung truest potential natin because yun nga, there are some excuses and there are some things na parang hindi pa natin na discover probably because of the awareness and tonight we will unleash that so our topic for tonight as i've mentioned a while ago is really maximizing your true potential so with that that being said ano meron tayong maliit na question dito that would really help us to parang become aware of how are we going to really grow our value kasi ako, to Coach Tony, I truly believe eh, that each one of us has a potential. Each one of us, alam yun, we have this gift that is given from above. And siguro nga, hindi lang natin alam how to actually grow ourselves and grow our value in order for us to give impact to other people. So yun yung parang itatakal natin tonight. And that being said, I would love to share these three core ingredients to grow your value. So, paano nga ba? Kasi ako, Coach Tony, I, to, I truly believe ha, that money is a symbol. And money is a symbol of value. So, once you grow your value, you grow your symbol. So, what does that mean, Coach Ken? Ano? So, simple lang. Like, for example, there is these two people. Uh, they are both working in a restaurant as a waiter. Si John and si Lloyd. And siguro... Yeah, the way you actually imagine it, yes, guapo din silang dalawa. All right, si John and si Lloyd. And yeah, they were both um actually working in the same restaurant. Si John, syempre, uh, usually yung ginagawa ng waiter, pag may order ka, ayan, ibibigay sa'yo, bibigyan ka ng menu. But Lloyd has a different value in him. Na the moment pa lang na pagpasok, na pagpasok mo sa restaurant with all the smile at para talagang alam mo yun, gagawin kanyang prinsipe, gagawin kanyang prinsesa at i-welcome kanya at hindi mo pa sinasabi yung yung mga kailangan mo, nabibigay na niya. Na niya. At the end of the day, of course, Coach Tony, if I would to ask you, who would you think ang mas may malaking tip with the both of them is it John or Lloyd Probably si Lloyd siguro Exactly kasi nga 'di ba money is a symbol of value So kung makikita natin like for example Chanel or Louis Vuitton bakit ba 
ang aside from siguro the the materials that they've used bakit pa ang mamahal ng mga brand na ito it's because they've already grown their value so ganun din pala tayo ano so we have to know how to grow our value first for us to grow that symbol kasi i'm pretty sure this 2022 gusto nating to really increase our income that's maybe one of our goal this year ano to really improve and to have really or to live life in abundance but of course before we actually move forward into that level kailangan muna nating maintindihan that we we have to work on ourselves first And one of that core ingredients is, of course, competence. Coach Tony, ano, man, ano naman yung masasabi mo when it comes to this area? Bakit kailangan natin siyang i-grow? Bakit kailangan natin siyang i-improve? Correct. Um, if you want to master in one specific area, uh, if you want to be good a specific area, if people would want to you know, afford that kind of skill set, you have to master it. You know? And then the father of the mastery is repetition. Halimbawa, um, if you want to be the, the highest paid actor, you, you want to go that kind, I mean, you have to go through beyond that average level. Kung kunyari sa acting, yung highest form of acting is yung method acting. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mong i-immerse sa sarili mo on that specific role so that hindi na nagmamatter yung length of screen time mo nagmamatter na yung yung craft mo over that skill that's why um importante na magkaroon ka ng competence yan as what you have seen on the screen it says their practice is essential for developing a skill but becoming an expert requires constantly challenging yourself to do better to learn more and acquire new skills share ko lang Before ako nagkaroon ng lakas at kapal ng muka to, in, to go to the front of screen and, to, and mm-hmm. to go to the front of a lot of people, yung number one audience ko talaga is my family at saka yung mirror na nasa, nasa kwarto ko. I love that. You have to consider lahat ng pinakamaliliit na elements so that pagdating ng araw na yon handa ako. Pagdating ng araw na yun, kahit nanginginig ako, may ma-establish akong na, naabot ko yung nalagpasan ko yung, yung, yung circle of fear that I went, tumuntong ako dun sa level of courage. No? Courage is something that you fear most, pero ginawa mo siya because kailangan mong gawin because mahal mo yung ginagawa mo. Mm-hmm. And This applies if you're a student, kung manggagawa ka, kahit sa tingin mo hindi mo pa alam yung ginagawa mo because you love what you're doing, because you love the craft, you're gonna throw that beyond that average level. Yun ang tingin ko, Coach Dave. Ayan, I love it. Very well said, Coach Tony. Sabi pa nga ng isang parang may nakita akong video on YouTube, ano? there was this missionary And then, parang may kaibigan siya na, um, alam mo may kaibigan siya na isang negosyante that was really affected by Yolanda. Like, really, sira ang bahay, alam mo yun, lahat ng sasakyan na sira. And then, syempre, tinawagan ng missionary, bro, how are you? Um, of course, you know, the missionary was honest enough to really tell that, you know, the, the, the things that he has right now is really, you know, parang destroyed. Pero sabi niya, Brother Bo, it was Brother Bo's ano, um, illustration. Sabi niya, Brother Bo, bigyan mo lang ako ng one year and I will bring everything back. Ganun na yung level of competence ng entrepreneur na ito. Na kahit pa, yun na, it's not really about how much you have in the bank. It's not really about the asset, physical asset that you actually do have. But it's really about here eh, at dito. your skill set, your knowledge, your character. Kasi, di ba, madami din namang nagiging milyonaryo, like lot, lottery winners, na parang the moment they actually earned that, that, that you know, they, they won, what happens five years or ten years from now is they see winning a lotto not a blessing but a curse. Because they even, you know, end up being in debt. So ganun yun. Like if if you have to if you will increase your value, parang madali na lang sa to really 
increase the symbol to really earn whatever you wanted to earn. All right, so yun yung unang core value. The second one is of course, eto talaga. Dito talaga para ako na in love uh, with what we are doing in A Quest because we are really promoting consciousness. Now, a lot of Filipinos, ganito yung mindset natin eh, when it comes to, alam mo yun, mindset towards money, we thought that, Diba? Money is the root of evil. And I don't want to get rich. Kasi, kasi nga, ano ba yung nakikita natin, Coach Tony, sa mga palabas sa TV? Diba? Pag mayaman ka, kontra bida. Pag mahirap ka, parang ang bidang bida mo. Alam mo yun? Yung parang, you know, you, 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 are, you are the protagonist. So, parang ako personally, I grew up thinking na parang I don't want to get rich because I don't want to be bad. And sometimes we forgot that money is just a tool. And when we say it's a tool, para lang din yung isang baril, de ba? That if you want to give it in a criminal, it's a bad tool. Pero pag ipapagamit mo naman siya sa isang policeman, sa isang soldier, then it's a good tool. So it's really not about the money. It's really about the tool, but it's really about the mindset, the character, the consciousness of one's individual. Do you agree with me about that, Coach Tony? Agree. Um, just just to highlight, no, what we are really emphasizing on, you know, within our community, it's called the abundant abundance consciousness. Abundance consciousness, for me, in my own perspective, it's having um the limitless potential to everything: love, relationship, career, uh, halos lahat ng areas, eh. In, mm-hmm. yung nakikita lang natin on the physical realm maliit lang po yan na porsyento no? but the kind of abundance starts from here and later on pag andyan na yan you would imagine yourself na parang you are a waterfall na hindi mo alam kung saan ang galing gano'ng karami yung mga blessings mo because you're so much confident that whatever blessing that comes to you apaw lang ng apaw apaw lang ng apaw Uh, kung magbibigay ka man ng love towards other people, it's just parang kung bisa, sa Bisaya pa, it's wisik-wisik na lang or a little portion na lang ng, ng love mo. Kasi nga, you have a very um, large consumption of consciousness. And importante yan uh, to know your value. Importante yan na pag alam mo, um, malakas ang consciousness mo kahit in the middle of um, challenge ka na, okay, siguro, alam ko, graduate ako, eh, alam ko, matalino ako, eh, pero ba hanggat ngayon, wala pa akong trabaho? Mm-hmm. Pero bakit hanggang ngayon, wala pang tumatawag? Ba't hanggang ngayon, wala pang calls? Ba't hanggang ngayon, di pa ako nakakasakay sa barko? Huwag kang panginang loob because you are designed for something that God has prepared you to do. Ganun, I mean, ganun ka-amazing yung consciousness na pinapractice natin dito. Yes. Diba? How amazing, Coach Dale. I love that. Yeah, gustong-gusto ko yung sabi mo, Coach. Ano? And siguro naman, hindi ibibigay sa'yo ni Lord ang something na hindi, parang you're hesitant to have. Kasi nga, you have that kind of mindset, di ba? Na parang poor mentality mindset that money is the root of evil. So parang hindi yan ibibigay ni Lord sa'yo. Kaya you have to shift that mindset first before you could grow your symbol. And of course, last core ingredient is the character. Ako, eto talaga, Coach Tony, ay hindi talaga ako naniniwala that money is actually could change people. Di ba, madaming sasabi na, ay, naging mayaman lang, pumangit na yung bat, alam mo, pumangit na yung attitude ng taong ito, or ganyan, ganito, sumuwa pang na. Pero actually, money could magnify one's true character. So, very important na parang, hey, guard your heart. Before ibibigay ni Lord ang blessing na yan, is dapat parang ready ka, okay, how could I be a value to other people? How could I contribute? Because these blessings is actually just pinahiram sa akin. And I think, In any business, in in anything that you do, nagtatrabaho ka man or student ka man, um, alam mo yun, character is really of the essence. And iba yung parang, iba yung entrepreneur ka or ano yung ways of income mo when you know that 
it's actually legal when you know that it's really coming from a clean alam mo yan clean transaction pero di ba ano, ano, ano namang mabibigay na yun na you have really a lot of money and then galing siya sa scam di ba parang iba din siya so character coach Tony what can you say about this uh, for me personally um yung the 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 heart and the I mean, yung heart lang na binibigay mo into the smallest detail na ginagawa mo eh um like if i would quote something from the bible hindi ko maalala kung anong specific verse no but um if but if i may go biblical around it no ang sabi doon is um kung hindi ka na pagkakatiwalaan sa mga maliliit na bagay paano ka pagkakatiwalaan ng Diyos sa mga malalaking bagay no yes. uh, just think of that thought no um hindi ibibigay sa iyo ni Lord yung mga bagay na like yung sa training namin sa bahay um kipiso yan ki dos pesos yan pagka it, ganito lang yung amount na na nagastos namin ibibabalik ibabalik namin sa iyo no that uh-huh. applies to you know how would you apply it to your to your job how 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 would you show yourself Um, to your boss, how how would you present yourself in um, how how would you present yourself in in conversations? Okay. So what I mean by that is, for me, I have a very you know strong attachment in terms of you know, honesty, love and compassion, and yan uh, pag ito talaga tung dalawang to pag pag na practice mo to ang lakas ng reputation mo kasi nga you have a very good track record kahit saan ka ililipat-lipat ng project mapopromote at mapopromote ka di ba mm-hmm. so yun i think that's the kind of potential that i want everyone to understand kasi yung pagalingan patalinuhan alam kong medyo cliche na siya pakinggan pero Um, mas nangingibabaw pa rin yung character. Mas yeah. nangingibabaw pa rin yung, yung kung paano mo nilalagay yung puso mo sa mga maliliit na bagay. Kasi hindi man nakikita niya ng boss mo pero nakikita ng Diyos yan. Yes. Coach Dale. Yeah, truly. Um, I truly agree with what you have mentioned, Coach Tony. So, syempre, before we proceed ano, to uh, our next slide, I would love to get some thoughts sa ating guest for tonight. Ayan. So, we're Ayan just na. so blessed. Yeah, di ba, Coach Tony? We're just so blessed that we have with us here, Coach EJ. Ano? So, Coach EJ, okay lang ba that uh, we... We, our audience would really love to hear from you. What's your thought about what we have just discussed for the few minutes, you know, few minutes that we had our discussion? Yan. Rinig ba? Yes. Meron, meron. Yeah. Meron, Yeah, for me, what I'm learning is uh yung importance ng thesis na pinakita nyo, no yung core ingredients which is competence, consciousness, and yung character. And I guess lahat naman to important para siyang ano eh, para siyang instant coffee. It's three in one. And hindi mo siya madedefine but kailangan siyang paghaluin. ba diba? mm-hmm. So, in, we ask as a person, no for because we want to create success in our lives, it's important to have this in mind So that meron tayong guiding principle na parang, ah, okay, kailangan ko pala na may character ako, which is I'm coachable, I, I have, you know, a good attitude toward things. Kailangan pala I'm conscious, ibig sabihin yung awareness level natin. And ibig sabihin, last naman, but not the least, is competence. Kasi feeling ko naman, kung wala yung isa, I mean, you can still survive, no? And you can still strive. Pero iba talaga pag nakompleto mo siya, eh. It's just like the complete trifecta o parang ano para kupuan di ba may stool siya may foundation eh. and this and this could be creating the foundation for you to create the kind of success that you want so the stronger your stool which is character conscious and competence mm-hmm. the higher you can actually reach the kind of goal that you want yun naman yung tingin ko thank yeah. you 
All right. Thank you so much, Coach EJ, for sharing your thought. I totally love how you put emphasis on, you know, the importance of the three. And yes, indeed, pwede naman talaga, pwede ka naman talagang umaman without, you know, kung kulang ka ng isa, but iba pa rin ang mag, you know, iba pa rin yung impact na meron ka if ever you have this day. All right, so shall we proceed to the next line, ladies and gentlemen? Now, of course, for us to grow our value, you have to make our 100%. So this is where our potential comes in. No, kailangan, kailangan no ifs, no buts. Wala nang parang 1% doubt dyan. Kasi yung 1% doubt na yan, yan yung mag-bring down sa'yo. Yan yung, you know, um, we whisper sa'yo that, you know, hindi mo kailangan gumising ng maaga or hindi mo kailangan late night na to build up your dream at madami pang reasons behind that. So, there would be kung kanina sis yun, Coach Tony. Ngayon naman, sa D na naman tayo. Ano. So, this 3D is really, really important and please allow me to actually quote, you know, this Um, the 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 story of Luke 5, chapter 4, verse 7. Just allow me to quote this one. I love this because this was the story about Jesus actually t- uh, telling Simon Simon Peter or si Peter, one of his disciple, yun nag-fishing sila. So, ang thought naman niya dito is, di ba, um, sabi ni Peter, syempre Peter is a fisherman. So sabi ni Peter parang Lord, no, kung makikita natin dito if we are to read it, read this parang beforehand, before ng 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 verses na ito. Sabi niya parang whole day kami na nagka-catch. Ito pala sa so chapter 5, ano, I verse 5. Master, we work hard all night and haven't caught anything. So sabi niya ganun. But what I love about this is Peter said, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. Dito makikita natin yung determination determination ni Peter na, alam mo yun, Lord, gagawin ko to. Kahit anong magyari. Parang no ifs, no buts, gagawin ko talaga siya. And uh, when it comes to to determination, parang it's really a great drive. And even all of the successful people, I guess they, they all have this. Do you agree with me, Coach Tony? Correct. Um, baka kasi may mga may mga bagay pang hindi ka pa na, hindi mo pa nasusubukan like eto pagpalagay natin si etong si Simon ba yon o mm-hmm. tama ba o. yes o. si Simon halatang matagal na siyang fisherman pero the way he addressed to Jesus sabi niya master <laughs> di ba si hindi naman niya nakita si Jesus na I mean for a very long time andun sa 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 field pero andun yung number one, trust andun yung andun yung respect pangatlo andun yung commitment to do whatever it takes beyond his own limitation sabi niya lord alam ko limited lang ako eh pero sige tara you, you, does it make sense like yes. um kahit yan even in the illustration um alam mong mahabang tatahakin mo hindi mo pa nakikita yung finish line pero alam mo sa sarili mo nag improve ka. Mm-hmm. Balikan na lang natin konti yung story, no? Yeah. Number one ingredient talaga to unleash your potential is you have to trust yourself first na kaya mong isang bagay uh, na kaya mong isang bagay kung bibigyan mo lang ito ng habit. Okay? Um, siguro ang nakita ko na may, kung hindi pa yung mga time pa siguro na hindi niya pa na meet yung master niya siguro na sanay na siya na okay sige dito hanggang dito lang kasi hanggang dito lang yung kaya ng net ko hindi niya pala alam na pwede niya pa nag stretch out no how could we apply this to our life if you think napapayat ka you would do the diretso ka ba sa mas malalaking mga ano workout di ba mas maliit yeah diba? yes so every day the uh, at the start of your training, magsa-start ka ng sampu. Pagka next day, sige, sampu pa rin. Pag tingin mo medyo kaya na, sige, idagay natin ng 20. Because you have so much determination towards your end goal. Hindi ka nakafocus sa end goal eh. Mas, na, mas na-enjoy mo yung paunti-unti. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what I'm trying to say to to everyone's watching na right now, um, 
if you're badly so determined and may reference ka naman talaga, ito yung klaseng tao na gusto kong makita na tingin ko that that would be my the end reference to unleash my full potential. Mm-hmm. Gawin mo na ha. Huwag mo nang ipagpa next month na. Yes. Huwag mo nang ipagpabukas pa. Gawin mo na ngayon. True. I love it, Coach. Ano? I love it that you've also mentioned na tama naman talaga. Peter, uh, Peter Simon is already a fisherman himself. Pero iba yung drive eh. Kapag talaga niya alam yun, it's, it's his master who told him. You know? And ano bang sabi ni Jesus, which is about the second point, differentiation. Sabi ni Lord, ba? Diba? Sabi ni Jesus kay Simon, put out into deep water. Hindi naman sabi, kasi ito dapat yun eh. Um, on the first note, God knows our core gift. Di ba parang al- i- i- alam ni Lord na, hindi naman sinabi ni Lord kay Peter, di ba, na parang, ah, wala ka na, ka- oh, sige, mag ka na lang. mag ka na lang. Or sabi ni Lord, sige, ano, just get words out there. Hindi, kasi alam ni Lord that Peter's core gift is really fishing. And ang sabi lang niya, Peter, hindi mo pa kasi na-try yung sa malayo konti. So, ganun din kasi yung parang, you know, you have to really know your potential. You have to know your core gift in order for you to actually differentiate. And always, eto, eto talaga yung mortal sin ng kahit sinong entrepreneur. If you don't innovate, you'll really lose. Tulad ng Nokia, di ba? Parang they are the top uh, most brand who are actually providing phones before, but because they didn't innovate, they were left out. So, ganun yun. Pag may, alam mo, pag magaling ka sa arts or pag magaling ka mag-coaching, always think of ways, okay, how can I be of value? How could I differentiate myself? Put your shoe on your client's shoe or on the people or your on your boss shoe, ano, na parang, eto, may iba talaga ako nakikita sa taong ito. And it really speaks a lot about differentiation. Kasi nga, coach, ano, may nalaman akong story na parang may zoologist na um, meron siyang mga alagang mga itlog. Tapos napansin niya, may isa, actually hindi pala zoologist, farmer. So may isa na parang ang laki talaga ng itlog. So akala lang niya na, okay, this one is special. And then, here comes the time that na-hatch na yung itlog, okay? Na-hatch na silang lahat. Napansin niya talaga na yung malaking itlog, malaki talaga siyang klase ng chick. Pero, syempre, he was actually surrounded with, you know, with the other chicks. So, he acts the same. And then, one day, one day may zoologist na parang nag-join, ano? Ay, parang pumasok sa kanyang farm. And then, sabi niya, this is not a chicken. So, bakit, ba, but why is this a bird acting as if he is one. Kasi nga, he was surrounded with chick, di ba? So, sabi ng zoologist, oh, sige, halika, let's go to the forest. Ayun. And then, trinay talaga nilang paliparin. So, syempre, nung una, mga first couple of hours, nahirapan. Nahirapan yung bird, ano? But when the sun rises, the eagle actually flew high and parang, alam mo yun, Um, imagine na lang ko siya parang sunrise and then may eagle na nakalipad. And sometimes we're stocked. Our tourist potential is being stocked because of the surrounding that we are into. Sometimes we act in mediocrity because we're surrounded with people who act mediocrity. So, kailangan mo lang kasi palang i-differentiate yung sarili mo na, hey, you're something special. Huwag kang umakting parang manok ka kasi eagle ka. Alright? So, parang, and that story really reminded me na parang, wow, I'm God's masterpiece talaga. ba diba? So, what's your realization with that, Coach, when it comes to differ- differentiation? I think I did the right thing when I left my space in Davao. Uh, and simply hala natin yung konteksto na ng, yung differentiate. No? Mm-hmm. Ang ganda kasi ng illustration na kinuwento mo about being an eagle. It's a kind of symbol that represents everyone who would want to get out from their comfort zone. And what I mean by that, I'll be very straight with this. Ito yung posibleng mga taong alam natin na nagbigay ng tamang aruga. Mga magulang natin. 
uh, perhaps yung mga taong nag, nagtanim ng culture na, okay anak, uh, mag-aral ka na mabuti, paglaki mo, makanap ka na magandang trabaho. Mm-hmm. Okay, para maihaon mo kami sa kahirapan. Mm-hmm. Almost every Filipino household lumaki sa ganyan na mentality. No? What I'm trying to say here is that if you know na yayaman ang if you know na nakaka-apekto yung space mo, yung yung energy at alam mong sa sarili mo na there's an opportunity outside like physically you really have to get out from your space. Gawin mo kasi nga kung ibabase mo ilalagay mo sa kwento mo, pabalikan natin yung kwento. Ikaw yung igel eh. Ang igel hindi siya nagsistay on ground, lumilipad yung igel eh. Yeah. Ang igel hindi sumasabay sa storm, nagsusor siya above the storm. And that storm represents number one, poverty mentality. Mm-hmm. If you are surrounded with people with a poor mindset, guess what? Mamamatay kang ano, hindi yung mayaman. Hindi mo kasalanan pinanganak pinanganak kang uh, tawag nito uh, mahirap pero kasalanan mo pag namatay kang mahirap. Agree. So yan. Ayan. so I love it coach. Uh, two? Um parang we take accountability. We take accountability in whatever place we are into. And of course, last but not the least is delegation. So kung makikita mo sa verse, so they signal their partners in other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. Kasi if you don't delegate, ma-fall frustrate ka eh. Aanhin mo yung napakadami mo ng blessings and then frustrated ka naman, effort is 100 times then, di ba? Because you don't delegate. But of course, never forget that once you delegate tasks, you also delegate blessings. Tulad neto, di ba? Sabi na nagpatulong sila and then both boats actually is in full yung ano nila, yung, yung, yung mga isda. So, Delegation is a key as well um, for us to maximize our potential because believe it or not, you're not good at everything. Alam mo yon, may mga tao, kaya nga parang I always I admire diversity in a organization kasi nga we have different strengths and weaknesses. So yung strength mo, o oh, doon ka focus ka, focus ka sa core gift mo. Pero yung weaknesses mo, bigay mo na sa magagaling dyan. Para naman makapag-focus ka in developing your strength, di ba? So Coach Tony, how would, ano, ano naman yung parang nakikita mo talaga na, alright, this is my strength and these are some of the areas in my life that I have to delegate. I think, uh, dyan natin ipapasok yung word na empowerment. Kasi nga, um, one of, the values, connect lang natin sa story ng eagle. Ha? Mm-hmm. In the lifetime of an eagle, there's a point in his life or the point of that, that eagle na na mamamatay talaga yan. Okay? Meaning, pag in-integrate natin the principles of leadership, the last principle which is learn how to die baka sabihin naman, ah, okay, so dapat mamatay ako bago ako mag-delete. Hindi. <laughs> Dying meaning, you have to forget that na nasa yung lahat ng spotlight. Do things. Two things. Number one is to delegate and you eliminate task so that you may be able to empower the next leader. Yeah. mabigyan mo siya ng opportunity you know, number one to practice the competence to practice the consciousness to practice the character it's all connected pa rin po ladies and gentlemen so pag ang isang organization lumalaki na diba, hindi pwedeng lahatin mo tama yung sinabi mo Coach Dale, kailangan from being a doer mag shift ka na doon sa function mo as a manager Mm-hmm. mag-iisip ka na ng mga innovations mag-iisip ka na ng structure mag-iisip ka ng sistema para 
yung kahit kaduluduluhan ng organization mo is damang-dama pa rin yung culture, damang-dama pa rin yung 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 tawag nito, yung vision, damang-dama pa rin yung mission. And that's what we're practicing in our organization, no? Ang ganda lang kasi kasi pinractice tayo paano mag-delegate. Pinractice tayo paano mag um mag tawag nito mag contribute yan yeah. it's about contributing yourself to others meaning giving them a break yeah. bigyan mo sila ng break so ito yung ginawa ni Simon sa mga partners ya ang ganda kasi ng mentality ni Simon eh kung sa Bisaya pa hindi siya dalo kasi right. nagdinalo ba so for you to receive so much blessing while unleashing your full potential ang turo sa atin is contribute, expand, growth, di ba? Kung may isang ideya ka, hala, sige, pamigay mo, di ba? Anong mawawala sa akin? Akin pa rin nga naman yan eh, di ba? Sige. Uh, tanungin natin yung isang kasama natin dito na hindi pa kami yes. ipaunin na pa. Sige. Coach Diego, sa dami ng pinag-usapan natin dito, bigyan mo naman sa aming pinaka nagustuhan mo bro, kahit audio lang. Oh, hi. <laughs> Grabe, <laughs> sobrang intense ng mga topic na to. Na it's just one of the things I really learned and I think everyone should uh, take note is that I mean, medyo hindi na siya related dito, pero the the abundance of wisdom and knowledge in everything we we read and we consume as part of our ano. And I think the ano talaga, the what really hit me is yung I guess it's the belief talaga eh. Ito sa number four, put out in deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Tapos para medyo doubtful sila nun. But, you know, they just went for it and then <laughs> a number of fish that their nets began to break. Sobrang dami na. So it's part of really giving in to, I guess you could say, the abundance of the universe or para sa iba to God sa iba to uh, the source. I think there there comes a parang point na yun na eh. Pag walang wala ka na, yun na yung gagawin mo eh. And uh, ang sabi nga sa isang uh, series na napanood ko, uh, when you are at your lowest point, you are vulnerable to the greatest change. So, yun. Yun na yun for me. Salamat, uh, Coach Jego. Salamat sa first-time investor nga pala. Promote natin content pa. No? Like nyo po yung first-time investor. Yeah. Magaling po yan mag-simplify ng, ng, ng finance. Magaling po yan mag-program, mag-craft ng proposal. Kung ano mm-hmm. yung gusto mong mangyari in the future. Kung gusto mo ng educational fund. Kahit ano. Gusto, magaling itong tao ito. Yeah. No? Contact na lang yan. Sige. So, yun siya, balik tayo, no? Coach Dale. Sige. Agree um, ako. Yeah. Sige, balik ko na sa'yo. Yan. Ayan, so thank you so much for sharing, Coach Jago. So, yes, uh, we've been here for almost 45 minutes and I just wanted to end this up with a short story. You know? um, there, oftentimes in our life, kasi parang, um, we thought of we're not enough. Uh, we're thought of parang, okay, hindi, hindi ako enough. Kasi nga, there are external factors along the way. Tulad ng isang fish na ito, no? Um, there is this scientist na parang nag-study siya, na, 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 ano siya ng experiment. So what he did is may aquarium siya at may sinimo nandoon, ano? So nandoon siya sa aquarium na yun. Langoy-langoy siya, enjoy na enjoy niya yung aquarium. Until such one is one time, naglagay siya ng another glass in the middle of that aquarium. So, syempre, sini mo, parang sanay na sanay siya to really, you know, explore the whole area. So, punta siya sa kabilang side. Ay, parang, alam mo yun, nasaktan siya kasi nga may glass na, ba? Diba? So, inulit niya, masakit pa din. Up until the 10th time, sabi niya talaga, parang, this is not good anymore. This is bringing me harm. So, I will not go to the other side. And then after five days, kinuha nung scientist yung ano niya, yung glass. To his surprise, Nemo never went on the other side again, even without the glass in the middle. Why? Because he knew that this would hurt him. Ganun din tayo eh. Parang there are a lot or a lot of issues and areas in our life na nagdadrama tayo 
Nasabihan tayo maybe before ng teacher nyo ba or ng magulang mo or someone that you are close or kahit hindi mo close, nabuli ka ba? Sinabihan ka bang bobo ka? Hindi ka yayamanin? O sinabihan ka ba na parang ikaw? Parang you're not potential enough. And sometimes those things are blocking us to actually see the true potential in us. Yung parang ayaw mo na kasi nasaktan ka na. Please, please do remember this. Sorry. Ayan. So please do remember this. This is my last slide. God is saying, you're my child and I didn't make any joke. Wow. Parang ano pa ba? Parang, alam mo yun, God made these people, made these circumstances who is telling you that you're not good enough, but He Himself, your Creator, saying, you are my child and I didn't make any joke. Ayan, so that's it from me, Coach Tony. I'll give back the floor to you. Awesome. And on behalf of Tony TV and uh, Limitless Wealth, I love the discussion. As much as what, what we want to, you know, stretch, but 100% we gave the simplest form of concepts. How would you unleash that potential? Remember those three things that we discussed earlier. Number one is the competence. Second is the consciousness. The third is character. Sabi nga ni Coach Eze, pag isa wala lang dyan, parang three in one lang yan eh. Diba? Pag wala yan, hindi masarap yung kape. And that these are the formula that you think for you to unleash your potential, connect ko lang din yun sa sinabi ni Coach Dale, no? Na, okay, sige, mahirap ka ngayon. Okay, sige, wala kang trabaho. Okay, sige. Hindi uh, kasha yung budget. Paano ka makapag-negosyo? Okay, sige, hindi ka... Okay, graduate ka nga. Wala ka namang ganun na skill na record sa inahanap mo na trabaho. Drama lang yun. Okay, I hate to break this, but these are all dramas. No? Um, we've been there. We felt that way too. But one thing that we found is that the moment that all the blame to ourselves, all the anger towards our parents, perhaps anger to yourself, kasi nga, tingin mo, hanggang dyan ka lang, what? Uh, lahat ng guilt, tapon mo na yan. Lahat ng hiya. Hindi ka natanggap sa unang interview, okay lang yun. Yeah. So, what I'm trying to say here is, um, hindi mo kailangan ng motivational video eh. Ikaw, takmi, ikaw mag-motivate sa sarili mo. Kasi nga, pinanganak ka na champion, isusimula pa lang, champion ka na eh. Imagine, yeah. ilang, ilang sperm cell pinalo mo para lang ma-reach yung goal mo. I-fulfill mo na, todo mo na hanggang to, ano hanggang pag mo dito sa earth, di ba? So, yun. Uh, if you think that we were able to give value to you, the, be the next step that you're gonna do is send us a message to our social media sites and perhaps maybe we could talk some of the things that you think um, we are capable of adding value to you in terms of finance, in terms of health, in terms of these kind of topics, no? And we're so much excited. Perhaps baka sa susunod, may mga topics na gusto nyo i-suggest, i-message na lang kami. Alright? Sige, with that, thank you so much, Coach Jego. Thank you so much, Coach EJ, for being with us tonight. We're so much blessed. And i-greet ko natin yung mga taong nagtsaga. Kanina pa, na mag greet at mabanggit yung mga pangalan nila. We have yeah. Al and Kati Domingo. Uh, tulungan mo ko, Coach Dean. Uh, we dito? have Kyla Base. Ayan, estudyante ko yan. Mm. Alright, so oh. we also have uh, Ranchal May, Riedo Davo. Oh, si Coach Myla dito rin. Ayan, I love it, Ayan. I love it. Thanks for tuning in. Nga Hi. pala si, Coach, si, ano, si Engineer Lloyd, udo ka yun. Engineer, thank you sa panonood. Ayan. Ah, sige, Satoshi, thank you so much. Alright, so... Thank you so much uh, for, for joining us live. Um, this is Tony. And this is Ken. And this is, uh, these are your hosts tonight. Um, leaving you with 
So much love and con compassion. Remember that you have a great potential. Just connect to the Lord every morning and be excited. Awesome. All right. Bye-bye, yeah. everyone. All right. Good night, everybody.